Dr. Connor Tobish here again with Whitefish Chiropractic. It's cold and snowy outside. We've already had a handful of patients this week show up with low back pain that came on either during or after snow shoveling. So we wanted to make a little video with some quick tips and send it out so hopefully you guys can avoid ending up in a similar situation. Now, when we're looking at snow shoveling, two things that are really gonna drive low back pain are gonna be all of the rounding or flexion in the low back as well as the twisting and the rotation. I mean, think about the positions that people are in when you see them shoveling snow. They're basically here. They're rounded in their low back. They get to the point where they need to throw the snow out of the way. They keep their feet set and they just twist. And that combination of rounding and twisting is a ton of stress on the tissues in the low back. So our first tip is gonna be use your hips, not your back. So let these huge ball and socket joints with some of the biggest muscles in our body surrounding them, let them take that stress rather than your low back. So instead of being in this poor position, you're gonna basically be in more of an athletic stance. So now your hips can take that load while your low back stays in a good position. Now when we get to the time where we need to throw some snow out of the way, that brings us to our second tip, which is gonna to be to help limit that rotation and twisting in your low back. When you do have to rotate, move your hips and your shoulders together. So when you get here, instead of just twisting at your low back, get some snow on your shovel, take a step, throw the snow. Move your hips and your shoulders together. So those are some quick tips to help protect your low back when you're snow shoveling. I hope those tips were helpful and thanks for watching.